We have an indefinite integral, and it looks like it might lead to an arc sine, so solution. So recall the formula. If you have the indefinite integral of dx divided by the square root of a squared minus x squared, this is equal to the arc sine of x over a plus a constant. So let's try to rewrite our integral in a way that somehow matches this formula. So we have the indefinite integral of 5t divided by, and then we have the square root. We can write 1 as 1 squared minus, and we can write 25t to the fourth as 5 t squared squared dt. Right, if you square the 5, you get 25. That checks. And if you square t squared, you, you multiply. 2 times 2 is 4. So you get t to the 4th. So that checks. All right, now we'll make a substitution. We'll let u equal 5t squared. So du, let's see, 2 times 5 is 10. So you get 10t dt. Now here we have 5t dt, so what we can do is we can divide both sides by 2. So divide this by 2 and divide this by 2, and that gives us 1 half du equals 5t dt. And now we can directly make the substitution. 5t dt, we know that's 1 half du. So this is equal to 1 half, we can just pull it out much cleaner, du. And in the denominator, we have the square root of 1 squared minus u squared. Now we can apply the formula. This is 1 half arc sine of u over 1, right? a is 1, plus c. So this is 1 half arc sine, and we said u was 5t squared, so here we have 5t squared, and then plus our constant c. And that is the final answer. I hope that made sense.